Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Katafs Norse Dwarfs playthrough as a, uh, obviously, Krakadrak. A massive thank you for Kataf for making this mod, it is my favourite mod, it's uh, one which is from the previous Total Wars, which has now been updated for free, so give it a go. Uh, link to it down, is down below in the description. Anyway, we have a, a horrible, horrible battle to fight, guys. So we are jumping in here and seeing how this goes. Oh, God. I'm not looking forward to this fight. They utterly cheesed me. I was tempted to retreat, but then they'll just hit my settlement, which is even worse shape. Oh, at least we have a... We have a good map here, though. I can almost... I can use the terrain to my advantage. The trolls of a danger. And I don't have much to deal with the trolls at the moment, so yeah. Ooh. Most of the throng. I mean, pretty much. I'm gonna hold these guys. Nope. I'm gonna hold these guys back to go against some berserkers, but pretty much we're just gonna sit as we are. Yeah, they are sitting back to try and get reinforcements in before they hit me, which is potentially foolish of them. Potentially. I could just utterly turtle in this corner. It just provides complete cover on one flank. They are still just about coming uphill at me, though. I don't know if it's enough. So these guys' job is going to be to go in. Uh, the Braves are anti-infantry, so they will go in wherever there's a, a weak spot. They do get some nice things. Uh... That's, that's really nice. Hmm. Just covering my flank a bit, cause the last thing I want is them to actually get behind me. Trolls are what need to be taken out first. Oddly, these guys are probably better at taking out the trolls than my normal guys, which doesn't seem to make sense, but you know. As soon as they get in. Will do. Of course they have physical resistance. They're froggies, trolls. Dwarf warriors. Anu vengeance. Right, mixing these into this line because we're going to get a big infantry push here. They don't have much in the way of ranged, which is going to be problematic for us, so... It's... okay, if they want to do that, we're going to start getting onto the flanks. If they want to do that for me, that's perfect, because that means I can come around the flanks. And get in behind, which will really help with breaking morale. Keep moving. Don't get caught. There we go. We're about to break that unit. Right now, fold him. Come on, hold the line. Come on, hold the line. 
Kill them. Find your right. Targets. Actually pulling these guys back just a little bit to give them a better angle. I want to try and break this flank. If I can break this flank and free those units up, it'll really help because we are struggling over here a bit. Getting these guys round into the back is probably one of our, our most important things at the moment. Counter charge there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they're goddamn ranged hitting us. Damn. Into there. You guys into the rear here. You guys into them. Stop them throwing. I should have dealt with them earlier. That was foolish of me because I know they're armor piercing. God damn it. We are breaking. We were doing so well. Ugh. Right, try and kill that unit of trolls at least, please, guys. Bit of good old control A action. Come on. Damn. I'd actually have done better. Not fighting it. I'd have got a valiant defeat, but we'll see. Um, It's for trolls. That said, the trolls weren't where my line broke. It was the berserkers which broke my line. But we'll see We'll see what happens, because I may have a just-in-case save, because I, I may have fought this a few times to make sure that I won it. Because <laughs> I'm... I'm Because it's that early in a campaign that this could literally make or break the campaign. So, um... I may have prepped earlier, just in case. Just in case. Um, I don't like doing, but I will do when it's really needed. So we'll see how this goes. Eesh. So basically, we'll see what happens. You never know, I might be able to break out. Oh, okay. If he does that, that might just save us. Um, I will take the hit. It will be a bad one, but I will accept the losses. I do technically have a have a play have a save where I didn't get any losses, but I don't want to use it unless I have to. So we'll see. If I can break out, I won't use it. If I can't break out, I will use it. By the force, father! Armed and ready. No. Question is, can I deal with this force? No, in this case, I am going to use the save, because otherwise I'm just going to get killed. So my just-in-case save here, guys. This is where we actually manage to fend them up. What did I do? I hope I'm loading the right save, because I'm not sure which button I hit there. Uh, basically, this is a just-in-case save. Basically, we did manage to wipe them all out, all, all out through uh, winning a battle and then some auto shenanigans. Uh, so we're in a better position. We're safer, uh, and we will go from here. Uh, so I don't like doing this, guys, but this early in a campaign, I felt that loss with how many bad guys are around us could have utterly killed us, so wasn't worth it. But we'll see. We'll see if I regret this decision. So there we go. We've merged everything up. We're in a much better position. Ooh, and I have a... I've obviously gained an engineer from somewhere. To help out. Uh, so Car Cracker Jordan is safe. Um... And we'll work out from where we go from here. We've got the first thing, which gives us extra melee defense, which is really solid. Um, up increased ambush defa defense. Let's see. That's still good. That's also good. That's really good. They're all good tech trees. That's the problem. Uh... 
Uh, this is Troll Country, uh, reduces recruitment costs for Quarrelers, which is also very good. I think I want to go for the Growth and Control one first, because Growth and Control is good. Lord of Clan Borgrim. I've got six, do I want another? Hmm. Augury Blades, when I can get them, it's going to be awesome. Uh, let's get another unit of Quarrelers in. I'm tempted to do a bit of, you know what, I'm going to do a bit of merging. We're going to turtle for a little bit here. Very tempted by. You know what? I'm getting a couple of units of great access for the armor piercing. Not that I really need the armor piercing, but yeah. They are just slightly better attack. They're obviously nowhere near as good defense, but they are slightly better at attacking. They have slightly more weapon strength, so. As flankers, basically, because we're not going against too much with heavy range, so. That shouldn't be a problem. We've got a lot of range there. So we're now, we're in a better position than we were. The danger is we are surrounded by enemies. Now, I probably have enough to build a semi-decent garrison force up, but we need to be very careful with the enemies around us. Um, I should probably, as soon as I can, I probably need to go that the way and take them out. The horizon darken, my lord. Ooh, yeah, they've got a black arc. Borns. What? Lord of all. Kislev, we are two strong links in the chains. That Here we go. All the Kislevite factions Lord will be my friends. Bow to me. Bow to me, for I am a boyer. You pay the proper risk. Good. All the trade money, Demon as much sale. as I can get. So, the question is. Am I going to be strong enough to go and go and kick him back and force a peace treaty? I suppose so. Mm, guess I'm ending turn. I could do a bit more replenishment out here, but I mean, with my garrison there, we're in a very solid position. Um, so Wintertooth is our big threat at the moment, and I, I mean. I know full well we're going to end up fighting other people, but the longer I can avoid that for, the better. But I also don't want too many Norskans to get vassalized. My lord. Oh look! Chaos forces have declared war on me. What a surprise! What a surprise! Ugh. This is a horrible start now. It's great fun, but it's just a hard start. Ooh, foolish vainglory. Leadership's not really an issue, but I'm not recruiting, so yeah. Um, rune, Lord. Don't care who you are. Right, we'll try something. Rune, we are marching to the altar of spawns. We will have our revenge. By the Maybe. What is my grudge? Capture or occupy the current the, the settlement, but also, beast. Don't care who you are. I have a cunning plan. Someday. Damn. Yes. A plan so cunning. Oh, they'll actually just peace out. I was planning on fun. Nah, not worth it. And a non-aggression pack. That'll keep them off my back for a while. Perfect. And we gained a settlement out of it, so that's not actually bad. Gives us time to build, basically. Probably want to untax that province. Can I help you? Lord of Clan How long until the boss man is back? He is already back. 
Time for a reckoning. Uh, which one do I want? Uh, I'll work that out later. Extra missile range strength to start with. Okay. I was not expecting to get peace so quickly, actually, with them. I mean, I'm, I'm still very much in danger. This peace is not going to last. That said... Oh, of course. <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> To be fair, I should probably deal with them early. I'm going to need to zerg down to protect Ravensfake. I may even pop a lord in there just to help. Because Throt is a huge early threat for me. And dealing with him will help Kislev quite a lot. We've also got the Ecstatic Legion there who we probably need to take out relatively early. Summon me if you dare. Damn. Wait, what? Um. Oh. I know this one can get walls. My axe thirsts for war. Huh. No, here Cam. Here can't. That's weird. Ah, this provides a good garrison though. Time for a I'm I'm expecting to lose here, so I'm not going too nuts on the defense. I mean, we're trying to recruit if we get a chance. Yes, Boris, I will trade with you. I want Boris to live. I wonder where Frot's going. Damn. Are you? Did he actually destroy it? That is the question. <sighs> Shit. I'm in trouble. I think I'm going to start building a secondary force down in Sod Scott Tracken just to add to my defenses because I might need it. Strategist, please. One rug. Our bridges will be settled. Forwards. Mm. I am not happy here. I am not sure how well I'm going to do. I will take it because it's a victory. Um, it means all their units die and I can almost certainly just walk back into Raven's Fake, but I need to be recruiting massively. I should have probably checked if I lost my uh, ward, bear, ward breakers. Not ideal, guys, at all, but breaking two of their armies for one in one is really solid. For the wisdom of Valaya. Yeah, I lost my ward breakers. That was foolish of me. Let us begin. Uh, no, let's level up the capital because I can get more from doing that. Actually, no, let's start recruiting more goddamn troops. My axe thirsts for war. There we go. 
going with the um, anti-infantry ones to start with because, well. Hmm. I don't know if this ups Braves. My anger burns bright. You can double time this way to join. Um, I think I... I want growth, but I think I need local recruitment capacity. No, we're gonna... No, I'm gonna go for recruitment capacity for the time being. I've just realized what I did, which was derpy with my recruitment. Guys, I will sort it next turn, because I just realized I had two turns recruitment on the global, and I wasn't using the local to get them. Oh, how? Goddamn cheaty ass scaven buggers. How do they have another full stack already? I may not fix what I'm doing, I may leave things recruiting. Because, good god. I think this scaven war is going to be brutal. We may end up moving south into Kislevite lands a little bit. This may look insane, but hope what I'm hoping is that they will chase him down cast the runes. Casting the runes. rather than me, and I'll be able to just slow them that little bit it is to be useful. So I'm leaving them recruiting there. Wish me luck. If I can, if I can survive one more turn, I'm solid. Ah, oh, come on, Costaltin, save our butts. I will accept a mad priest saving my ass. Please make that be enough for Boilerin to pull back. Yes, they've disappeared. I think they've actually dropped into ambush stance. That's fine. That is fine. Whew. I'm not having fun. Oh, I think Costalton literally just saved my ass, guys. Your presence here is high. Actually, let's have a look at my diplomacy. I am true. They are one people. All right, he can be dismissed now. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> a lot of these guys, but I will take it. You know what? No, I want one more Dwarf Warrior. Just, these will be my front, and these guys, so they'll go in front to take any ranged fire, and these guys will sit back, but they are much better in general. Summon me if you dare. Oh! <laughs> Sounds daft. I need to build my grudges a bit. Because grudges are actually helpful because they allow you to recruit slayers really quickly. And at the moment, I need slayers to deal with the troll kill. Slay the troll kill? The troll king slayers would have been solid. I think I am the flukiest git alive at the moment. I think Costalton has just absolutely saved my ass. You 
dare approach a well, that makes my next decision easy. I was wondering where to go. I'm going to risk the wrath of the Skaven for a bit. And we're going to charge down this way. We have a decent garrison here now, don't we? Do I have anything else which builds my garrison? Ooh. Bit surprised this one can't get walls. I what? It's fine. Yes. Oh, actually, let's look up here. The mighty oaf stone. There we go. But no, actually, no, oh, no. This is the one I want, but that's also really solid. But no, uh, vigor loss reduction is actually one of the most important things. Let's get that out. So that we are not taking the negatives from the terrain. We are going to have a lot of corruption there, which is going to be problematic. We'll, we'll see how that deals with. Cromson is going to be able to move next turn. I'm probably going to have to build a little bit of a baby garrison in Raven's Fake. I'm, I'd, I'd quite like to take help it, but I'd like to is different than I can. But these guys, the Gromji tribe, have messed up and they are nice territory for me to go and take. So that is going to be my next push. Next turn. Part of me is tempted just to go straight for help it. But I don't want to lose another territory either. And they have a fairly decent garrison there. I want to level there simply so. Oh. I'm confused. Demon slap repel Boris Ors the Great Bear has hear me roar. I mean, I shouldn't complain. I suspect Boris has a worse play for a start. Ah, oh, Boris and the Norse Dwarves would be an interesting start. <laughs> Maybe a short play for a co-op one. Might have to do that at some point because it would just be fun. Oh, Throt is back. I kind of think I need to turtle a bit. Oh, let me guess. Oh, they didn't actually declare war on me yet. I am probably... Eh, I don't even know where you are. I am going... So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a little bit of cheek cheese here. I am going to sell a settlement back to Frog to try and get that non-aggression packed back and to try and keep him on side. With all the world is meat for my grinder. You first! Nope, never mind. I might, however, just abandon it, because the chance of me holding it is about zero. You know what? It's gone. There's no way in hell I can hold it, so... To war! March. Make these guys regret what they just did. Try. You know what? I'm leveling the capital. Raven's Fake needs to. I don't want to build it up to lose it, and I suspect the chances of me losing it is again are very high. Whereas needs be, I can just turtle and crack a drac with his diamond mine and an army and hold. I'm just hoping like hell that Costaltin manages to do lots of damage to 
The Skaven! To be fair, rather than abandoning the settlement, I should have just given it to Frog to improve his relations with me. I can't afford the negatives at the moment. Go, I definitely don't want that. That's not bad. Yeah, melee defense for all dual world units, because I've got a lot of those in my force. Let us begin. Okay, hopefully Raven's Fake will get big enough to actually be able to get a better garrison built there. Oh, look, Kislev has plague. Yes, yes. Eesh. I am really concerned by Thorot, but Thorot is also surrounded by a lot of other enemies, so... Hey look, there's the other Skaven who declared war on me. What a supply. Prize. Yes please, extra control everywhere. That seems like an awesome idea. That means I can actually tax here again. I dominate. Whichever woeful deity protects you, it ends here. We'll spill your mm. blood. Nope, they won't accept it. That's the only way they'd have got peace with me. Now the question is, do I push down here? Because they will be in Vlog. It is time. Summon me if you dare. I want a bit more of a garrison, guys. You know, Raven's Fate can wait on being leveled up a turn or two just so I can uh, actually build up this garrison force. Um, I know it's wasting money I don't have, but I just feel I need some extra defences there to, to ward people off. And then they can always charge up to Dorden if needs be. Yeah, because the Skaven are beginning to wander around to move again. I mean, kind of want the Ropesman clan to fall, but. Come then, messenger. Spit out your work. Yeah, I'll do it for. Here. Nope. Okay. <laughs> they think they know the stuff. That's their capital gone. Time for a reckoning. A timely arrival. My warhounds have not eaten in days. I am tempted to accept peace with them now because this isn't technically my territory. Um there's no surrender. I'm gonna peace with them for now. If Kislev takes it, fine. Death. If not, I will go back to war with them long run. In agreement. And this frees me up to go after the Skaven down here. I'm hoping Kislev will deal with them, but we'll see what happens. Onward. It is time. Let us begin. 
Right, there we go. That's all I'm going to actually build there. Ready. For the wisdom of and we're going to charge down towards Vlog, which I suspect is the only Skaven settlement there. I hope it is, but once I've taken it, I will offer peace. Good. Cost out and go for it. Kick that frot, but I wish I was there now because I suspect what will happen is they'll fight around it and then I could have moved in and wrapped up, tidied up afterwards, but... I can always deal with these guys later on as needed, if you see what I mean. So I'm not overly worried by that. Karak Vlog. Oh no, they're in Amber Stance. What will I possibly do? Karak Vlog is probably my last conquest that way. Let us begin. My axe thirsts for war. So yeah, they probably have some territory up there. Oh, I found them trying to ambush me. Oh, and they're running away from me. What a surprise. War. For the wisdom of Valea. I'm spending too much money at the moment on armies, but I kind of what can the need do to. I will take your money. I would love to actually help you and give you some more territory in the north to help block, to help defend me. And actually, if I do go over there, I will probably funnel some territory into uh, Boris if he stays alive. Because Boris Alive provides a buffer between me and the forces of chaos. That's a lot of Skaven. But I suspect it's a lot of Skaven slaves. Summon me if you dare. For the wisdom of the layer. Right. Will they offer peace? No. We may have fucked up again, guys. Yeah, they're all scathing slaves. I'm not too worried, he says, in that very worried sounding tone of voice. Getting some bondsmen in would be good, though this does give you a little bit of control issues. Uh, I'll have to compare them. Obviously, the, this is the main tree you want to go down because you get the ward bearers. Basically, the ward bearers. Why are they not tier 3? They are exceptional. And then Huskars, which are even better. Um, yeah. So I possibly want to just save for that. He says while building a diamond mine. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. With possibly a major Skaven attack. But, uh, we'll see. I think they're all Skaven slaves, pretty much. So I'm not particularly threatened by it. I may regret saying that. But I think we were okay. Um, I'd kind of like to peace out with them because I don't really want to push into the Skull Road yet because I'll be extending myself a bit too much. We'll see how it goes though. As always, thank you very much for watching everybody. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough and if you are, please do like and subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell button and as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons, Monster Bound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, and Jared Horn. And thank you to everyone else for watching. Cheers all.